So about a month ago, I posted this picture. on the old Facebook, uh, and I don't even remember what it was for. I think a cover photo contest for a group or something. And um, really, I was actually kind of intending to showcase the rifle here, but I had just tons of questions about this bag that was hanging off of there. What's, what's the bag? Where'd you get one of those? Uh, what's in the bag kind of thing? And I had it looped over my spotter set up here. Um, actually, the rifle set on that set of my binos and rangefinder here. And so um, I thought I'd talk about that just a second. You know, there's tons of videos on YouTube about what gear do you need to take to the matches and you know, what's your packing list like. And I like those because I like gear and I like stuff. But, you know, I really found after about two years of doing this that I needed to trim back a little bit. I was tired of carrying around a, a backpack full of stuff and started to have some more you know, duties at the match, and range officering and you know running squads and that kind of stuff and I just couldn't keep track of all my junk. So um, I dug out this little bag and pretty much everything that I take to a match that I really need is right here have my you know, rifle and optic, of course, kind of have to have one of those. Sport bag, love that. Binos, rangefinder, my spotting setup, you know, you don't have to have one of these to go shoot a match. I like my own gear. I'm, I'm a big guy. Uh, so, you know, most other people's setups don't fit me real well. So I made my own and I'll talk about this at some point. This is a, this is a good setup if you're trying to watch your spending and, you know, have some height issues and even if you're not you know it's a good one so take that and then some gear you know everything i need for matches right here in this little bag so i thought i'd run through the stuff that i take with me um and you know might be of interest to somebody i don't know i'm gonna clear all this stuff off of here and then we'll start emptying through here While we're on the subject of, you know, the Facebook and wonderful questions that come up on there all the time, one of the real common ones is, is, you know, what do I need when I come to a match? Now, this is my first time, uh, what do I need to bring? And, you know, admittedly, when I started out, I didn't ask that question, but I sure stalked a lot of other people that were asking that, and, because I wanted to make sure I had all my stuff. I, I love stuff, I love gear and, all that but you know when that comes up I've I've decided that I've you know I, I have an answer for that and as a first timer coming out to match what I tell people to bring is this you know, not me and not this sweet regard shirt and hat and although if you want that stuff you should get some of that too but bring yourself that's what you need that's what we want when we come have people come to matches. We want new faces and you know old faces are fine too. Anything else we can hook you up with. Um, there's guys in our group that would give you the shirt off of their back just to have new people come out and shoot and that's fantastic. Just come out. Anything else we can handle for you. So don't worry about it. Come to a match. Try other people's gear. They'll love to share it. They'll love to tell you their experiences just come out. That's that's what we need is, is, is you, your new face. Um, beyond that, you know, when you're starting out, you're going to need a rifle and an optic. Of course, a 22 of some sort, another semi-auto or mag-fed or, you know, whatever, we can work with that. A good, a decent first focal plane as scope is really going to help you. Um, people really struggle with anything else, but then again, there's gear out there that can be borrowed. And then uh, a bag of some sort, but you know I'm drowning in bags. I got all kinds. If somebody wants to borrow one, they're out there. Anybody at a match will loan you a bag. So don't worry about gear. Just come out and shoot. That's what we need. So that said, I've got all the stuff, and I've come to realize I don't need near the stuff that I have. What I do need, I've condensed down to this one little bag, and I realized that the questions on the my original picture that I posted was what is that bag and where can I get that bag 
And that's the one question I'm not going to be able to answer because I don't know. I cannot for the life of me remember if I ordered this off of Amazon or eBay or bought it at a you know, gun show right next to the taser guy. I can't tell you. I don't know. What I do know is it's you know one of these tactical sling bag things with a whole bunch of pockets in it. And you know, if you're like me, that's what draws you in. You don't have pockets. I need my pockets. Um, but you know, I I probably paid 20 bucks for the thing. There's some awesome other options out there. In fact, Armageddon Gear makes this really cool gear organizer that goes right over your tripod and. That's a really killer piece, and I don't have one. I'd like one someday, but you know, this works for me. So what I've got is this this bag, and I've got it pretty well filled with the stuff that I have to have for a match. I'm just gonna start dragging stuff out of here, and this is the you know the stuff that I take. Tailor it to your needs. There's some things that are pretty critical, and some things are just personal preference. But this is what I've got. So. Actually, let's start with a little tiny top pouch on here. In the very top, I've got earplugs and batteries. So I think for the equipment that I carry with me, as far as batteries, um, I have a Kestrel that takes the AAAs, and I've got a, a range finder that takes these CR123s. So I've got a couple sets of those with me. Um, not often I have to replace those, but it's nice to have batteries and be able to find them. Inside the big pouch, got a Sharpie. And then one of my favorite things is to create my own dope cards. So with NRL 22, you get five stages ahead of time, right? You can go ahead and figure out your dope, how you're gonna attack a stage. Make yourself a card. You know, I made these out of little pieces of Velcro on the back of ID card blanks that I bought off of Amazon. I think I bought a hundred of them for like 10 bucks or something. That little piece of Velcro, slap it on your rifle, slap it on your wrist, your whatever. Um, it's fantastic. Take, take some blank ones. I like to fill out, you know, ones I can ahead of time. Take some blanks. So there's bonus stages. You're going to change it up, whatever. I use a Sharpie. I'm done. A little rubbing alcohol. Clean them all off. Uh, I've been running these exact ones for two years straight. They're fine. Of course, there are some awesome vendors that make those. Support those if you can. I'm cheap. Uh, on top of here, got a towel. Uh, I, I'm a sweaty person when it's you know above 50 degrees. I like to have a towel with me, clean stuff off, clean myself off. This is great. This is a really cool uh, NRL one that they were giving away with orders over the summer, maybe Black Friday. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's green, so I don't lose it. Uh, tossed on top of there, sling. Some uh, some months have a you know an unsupported stage where you're allowed to use a sling. I've used used the short action precision one. Love that. Toss that in my bag there too. Pair of gloves, mechanics gloves. It's been cold here the past couple of months. I wear these. I usually take them off when I shoot a stage because I like to be able to really feel the rifle when I'm standing around. These work well. Nice to have some gloves with you. I've got uh, a little tiny plastic clipboard from. I don't know, Walmart probably. And then every month I just go ahead and print the stage off, stage descriptions, have them with you. Uh, if you're like, you know, shoot at our club, we're gonna have stages, you know, copies printed off for every squad. That's great. I like to have mine with me too, because, you know, more stuff. I do have a little zippered notebook in here um, with some you know, right in the rain stuff. My intent is to always write down my dope and you know, any observations and yeah, last time I wrote in here was May of 2020. I need to be better at that. But you know, if I do want to write something down at some point and remember it, it's good to have a little piece of you know, a little notebook of some sort. And then in the main compartment there, a couple of boxes of ammo and mags. I used to have it set up where I had enough mags I could shoot an entire match without reloading. When I switched to the Bergara, you know, um, I trimmed that down a little bit, so now I only carry four with me, but I've got a couple of extended base plates. I got one I, you know, butchered the side with my drill press and my Dremel so I could have a little window in there, see how many rounds is in there. That works all right. And then just a regular one, but find if I can just toss all my mags in one spot, I can load those up between stages. 
good to have all that right there with you so I'm not scurrying back to the truck. Um, on the side here I have, what do I got? Oh, my Kestrel in there. This is a 4500, nothing super fancy. I bought it used off of eBay. So. One of those, don't use it near as much as I should, but I've got it. And some more Sharpies in there. I like Sharpies. You know, I leave a trail of Sharpies wherever I go, so I always have plenty of them until I don't. And then I got a bunch more when I restock. So, got that. Um, some goodies to give away in there. Nothing real important. And in the front of here is probably one of my favorite things. This is, again, just a little pouch I picked up. I have no idea. Probably a gun show. No idea. A little admin pouch of some kind. And this is my range tool kit. It's actually, the main part of it is the fix-it sticks all in one, you know, the, the torque driver set. It comes in its own little cool zippered bag. But I have other stuff that I've added in here. I've got a couple of uh, longer hex hand, um, hex bits in there so I can reach in the, the screws that are recessed into my chassis. Um, I've got some homemade tools here, extra chamber flag, uh, some little set screws and Allen wrenches and stuff in there. I'm actually going to talk about this more in a different video because there's a handful of tools that really make your life a lot easier if you remember to take them with you each time you go to the range. Sorry about that. It's been raining like crazy the past couple of days and my sump pump's working hard to keep the basement dry, so that's that horrible horrible gurgling noise over there. So, glad that interrupted my whole train of thought. I was going pretty smooth till then. Um, and also, you know, if you get a bag, cover it with all kinds of Velcro-y stuff so you can stick your patches on there. Support the people that support you. Uh, show your appreciation. Patches are great. They're right up there with wrenches and you know, magazines and all that and little essential gear. So, get yourself something you can Velcro on there. Again, I realize I didn't actually answer anybody's question on what is this bag, but I don't know that it matters. Find something that your stuff fits in. Um, you know, some people have the baby strollers loaded down with the guns and the gear and you know, little garden wagons and all that's awesome until I'm trying to run around and keep track of all my stuff and that's, that's too much for me. I, as much as it pains me, I, I needed to trim down. So everything I need is in a little bag. Actually, I, I punched some holes in the straps of this and a little, little carabiner. I can drape it right around the top of my tripod. So that way when I'm moving between stages, I can carry my tripod in one hand, rifle in the other. It's all my stuff. I'm not tripping over everything. So I'd appreciate any feedback or questions or what have you. At um, some point, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the tools because I like tools. And then I've had some questions about my spotter set up here. Uh, I'll talk about that too. This isn't something you can buy. That's custom. Well, you can buy the pieces, but I don't know. All it takes is some spray paint and some JV weld and a little ambition and you've got yourself a spotter rig. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it.